hey guys it's taps again welcome to my youtube channel i hope you are good today in this tutorial i want to show you how you can convert your wordpress website into a static website this video is inspired by a comment i got on my latest video how to clone a website and convert them to wordpress and then i've got this comment that said dude your videos are great i would appreciate if you have videos to turn wordpress site into static page there are add-ons but they don't work. I know for a fact that a lot of people are in that space. They are tired of the headache that come with WordPress. Uh, if you convert your WordPress to a static uh, website, you'll get speed. But one of the not too good reason for converting your WordPress website to a static website is because once you have your website uh, static, you would need uh, the basics, HTML skills and also CSS for you to make significant changes to it. But if you are a non-techie, like I have most of them on my channel, I'll show you a little simple trick for you to convert your WordPress website to a static HTML website, and yet you can make changes to that website inside your WordPress dashboard. That sounds crazy. So before I jump straight into this tutorial, let me help you make sense what we'll be doing in this tutorial so i will break this tutorial into two steps the first step is for us to use a very simple plugin to convert a dynamic wordpress website into a static html website and then render the static website live on our domain and the second part will also be for us to use a very simple plugin to take a backup of our wordpress website and then we can send that backup to maybe a directory or a subdomain most preferably and then host our WordPress website on our subdomain and then we can refer back to our, our subdomain for our WordPress website, make changes on them and then send them to our live static website. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So without further ado, let's get started immediately. So this is the WordPress website, dapsbook.com, uh, that I have a demo a WordPress website installed on that we're going to be using for example purpose for this tutorial. So I'll be converting this WordPress website to a static website and then I'll be sending also this WordPress website to a subdomain and then we'll see how all of these things play together. So if I come to the back end of this WordPress website and come to plugins and then we can come to add new, we can install the two plugins that we'll be using for this tutorial. And the first plugin that we'll need to install will be simply static. It has 40,000 active installations. So we can install this plugin. And then the next plugin that we'll be installing to this website will be WP Vivid. This plugin will help us take a backup of our website and this plugin has 300 active installations. So let's install this plugin. All right, that's it. So let's come to our installed plugins. And then I have this plugin here and I have this here too as well. So I would activate these plugins. So after activating the plugin, the first thing we are seeing here is that the WP Vivid backup plugin has been installed and that's a good place to start. I think the first thing we want to do is to take a backup of our WordPress website and then send it over to a subdomain. And for that purpose, we need to go back to our hosting account to create a subdomain. For this example, I will be using Hostinga. Hostinga is my preferred hosting for starters, especially if you are looking into a budget-friendly hosting. Just in case you are thinking of investing in an hosting account, I would always recommend Hostinga. You can check the video description to see a link and to also see my coupon code that will give you an amazing deal. And that's an affiliate link. I'll get a commission if you buy through my link. I will appreciate your support if you can do that. That's just by the way. So let's come back here and let's come to create a subdomain. So I have dapsbook.com here. So I can just come to my domain here. And then I can come to subdomain. Ostinga gives us opportunity to create unlimited amount of subdomains. So we can create a subdomain for Dapsbrook, but for the purpose of this example, I will just call this 
WP, you can call it WordPress, you can do whatever, you can give it any name you're comfortable with that you know you can remember. And of course, I would like to create a custom folder for this subdomain and I can just name that folder to as well WP so I can create this subdomain. So now let's come to WordPress and let's come to overview. What we want to do right now is to install WordPress on our subdomain. So right now we have Dapsbrook here. I will change this to wp.dapsbrook.com, which is our subdomain, and then I can install WordPress. I'll give this a title. I can just, it doesn't matter what title we give to it. Uh, the old WordPress will override this WordPress. I don't want to talk over your head. Let's just continue so that you see exactly what I'm talking about. So my administrator username should be Dabs and I would create a password. And then I can hit the next button. I can just uh, just follow this prompt. So that's it. Our WordPress has been installed. I can just easily hit this edit button and this should take us to the back end of this WordPress website. So you can see we already have another WordPress installed and this time around it is wp.dabsbrook.com. So what we want to do right now is for us to come to plugins and then come to add new as well. So let's install the same backup plugin which is wp.vivid and then we'll install this plugin. Let's activate this plugin too as well. Before we leave our subdomain here, let's come to keys here. This is very, very important. We want to generate a key and then we can copy this key and then we can come back to our live website and we can come to auto migration what we want to do is for us to paste our keys here and then we hit the save button and then you can see connection is okay now you can transfer this website to our subdomain this is everything we want to do here so now let's just come down here and eat the clone then transfer so this plugin will clone this website right now and it will send it over to our subdomain so we can see this is getting completed let's give this some time to finish up all right that's it one backup tax finished so that's everything we need to do now let's come back to our subdomain here and now let's come back to backup and restore let's scroll down here and let's eat this can uploaded backup and then we can see that we have received the backup what we want to do right now is for us to restore this backup and then let's hit this restore button are you sure exactly uh, we can see that we want to restore our wordpress to our subdomain this may take some few seconds to as well we'll give this time to finish up and note that you should not switch pages when you are restoring a task because it can trigger some unexpected errors all right restore completed successfully and that's fantastic this will log us out of this website and then let's go to dabs right now and then you can see we already have the same website on dabsbrook.com now loading on the subdomain which is weepy.dabsbrook.com. So now let's come back to our live website and now let's convert this WordPress website to a static website. So we'll be using the help of this plugin called Simply Static. Let's first see some of the settings. So when you come here, the first thing we have in our setting here is replacing URL. If you click this, you can see that you can change this from a relative part to absolute URL and for offline usage. So we'll leave this as is and then you can play around, check out some of the settings here. But I really don't like messing around with the settings because uh, what we have here by default is enough. So let's come to generate here and then we have the option now here for us to generate a static file automatically this plugin is setting up a static files so if you scroll down you will see all the files and in some few seconds this will be over and done with so and that's it you can see that zip files have been created so we can just click this to download our zip files so we can see that we have our static files downloading into our local pc 
So what we want to do right now, since we have created a static file of our website, is for us to come back to our hosting account and then we can just come to our files. It doesn't matter what hosting you're using. If you are not using the hosting guy, just go to your cPanel and search for file manager. In my case here, I'll click this and then I will click access files for Dapsbrook and then I would open my public underscore HTML. So right here are my WordPress files. So right now here, I would love to delete all the files here, but I need to be very careful because my WP folder here is the folder that carries the new WordPress file. So you can see, so I cannot afford to delete this because if I delete this, it means that I'm deleting my subdomain totally. So you need to be very, very careful when you're doing this. So I'll, call, I'll select all of them. I would exclude my WP folder, which is where I have my subdomain WordPress installation. And then I can right click this and then I can do delete. Are you sure you want to delete this? I can delete this right now. Uh, now what we want to do right now is to replace uh, the deleted files with our static files. So now I can click the upload button and hit a file and then I would select a static file. So you can see we have these files here uploading. So we will give this some time to finish up. We have a static files uploaded. So what we want to do is to click this, uh, right click and then extract this file. We'll choose a folder first, but we're going to delete it eventually. So we can just call this static and then we extract this so for us to be able to see our static files right now let's come to dabsbrook.com and then let's uh, refresh this page you can see it's still forbidden but let's do slash static you can see we now have a static website so we want to load this directly in our root folder, which is dashboard.com. We don't want for slash static. Uh, so let's come back to our public underscore HTML and let's open up this file. So this is our static files here. So let's select all these by doing control A. I can right click and then I can move this folder. Uh, you can see it is under static. So I will double click this until I'm sure that it is in our public underscore HTML and I'll move these files directly into our public underscore HTML. So like I told you before, a static uh, folder right now, we would delete this. And that's it, deleted. So let's come back here right now and let's take away the static and let's load Dabsbrook and you can see we have our website now loading our static files. Isn't this amazing? All right, so we can just uh, peruse the page, our services to see that everything is working. So you can see, uh, let's come to about page. So you can see everything is working well and loading super fast. This is the benefit of converting your dynamic website to static website. You have amazing speed. So let's come back home here. Just like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, in case you don't have HTML skill or CSS skill, you can always use the subdomain to make changes to the website, to the WordPress website, and then send it over to the live website. So if we come back to our subdomain now, which is wp.dapsbook.com, and then we log in like I've just done, we can come to the dashboard. So what we can do here is to come to plugins and then come to add new and then install simply static and then we can install the plugin again here and then activate this plugin so that's it so we can always convert we can come here now make changes to our wordpress anytime we want to make changes maybe publish a new article do whatever we want to do here change some text and then we can easily come back to our simply static and come to generate and then we can generate the static website download the files and then upload it back to our html so that the changes will reflect as a static page 
this is super simple super easy right this is a no-brainer however there are some limitations using this plugin uh, for example if you scroll down right now uh i have noticed that uh for example this uh, form here may not be easily crawled into your static website and that's where the pro version of this plugin comes in but in your case if you don't have a form that's fine you are you are okay you're good to go but if you have dynamic content like your form you may want to check out your pro plugin that will help you clone all of these things into your static website so if I come to the plugin website here called Sim Simply Static, I can scroll down and down for me to see some of these things. So you can see here, I said here, this is the free version and this is the pro version. So you can see that you can deploy this to a zip file like we did and to a local directory. But you can do more with this to GitHub, to Cloudflare pages, Netify, Amazon, AWS, 3 and so bunny cdn and some other fantastic stuff so you can see single export build export form integration search integration comment integration i did a test earlier and i noticed that i can still uh, the comment sections on my static website was still working well but i don't know maybe what this comment integration means is for you to export maybe a live comment from your dynamic website to your static website i've not been able to explore with the pro version of this plugin which i would do and i would be releasing that in my next video so in case you are looking into that i advise that you watch out for my next video subscribe if that tutorial is not yet so that you get notified when i upload that video i believe this would help you a great deal uh, convert your dynamic WordPress website to a static website. So if you find this video useful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. I'll look out for them. I might just be able to make follow-up tutorials to help you solve those problems. So that's my time for this video. I'll see you in another one. And until then, stay safe.